All right, Jason, thank you. Well, the small town of Rocky Ford rocked by gunshots. Now, people want to know what prompted an officer to fire his gun. Witnesses tell us the man died after being shot in the back. Neither police nor the Colorado Bureau of Investigations will confirm that he is dead. The shots were fired at a home near Swink Avenue and 3rd Street in Rocky Ford, which is about an hour east of Pueblo. KRD News Channel 13's Emily Allen is live in Rocky Ford. She's talking to family and neighbors and has new information about the victim. Emily? Jonathan and Rana, people on this block say that the man who lived in this home was a quiet and respectable guy. Now, neighbors and family want to know what happened here early this morning. It's, it's an awful thing to happen in such a small community. Yellow police tape stands out in this small town. It's an unfamiliar sight. Everyone knows everybody, you know, and it's just, it's something major. Something real major. Brian Otero says he's shocked by what happened to his neighbor. Through social media and stuff like that, we heard that he had got shot twice in the back from uh, people that work at the hospital. He was always real, real respectful. I don't, I don't see, see anything that on his side that would, you know, make make it seem to me that he would do anything to get shot. The victim's sister-in-law says that he walked through that front door shortly before 2 a.m. She says after that, a police officer forced his way through the front door, and that's when the two started shouting at each other. He was standing right next to his mom, his back turned towards this officer, and he shot him twice in the back, and then after he fell, he pepper sprayed him. And he had handcuffed his fiance for reasons I don't know why, and then his mom had went to call the cops, and this cop took her phone and threw it against the wall. A family is left with questions for police. He just showed up, no one knows why. No one knows. It just all happened unexpectedly. The Colorado Bureau of Investigation has been called in. The officer who fired the gun has been put on administrative leave. I don't know what to think. Investigators are trying to figure out what happened leading up to the shooting. A question everyone wants answered. The police chief told me the district attorney's office is going to be putting out new information tomorrow. We will bring you that information as soon as it is released. In Rocky Ford, Emily Allen, KRDO, News Channel 13.